SMT Nation, we back, and we've got a Verizon Network update for you guys here. Uh, this may be coming your way. You want to be on the lookout for these things. Verizon is moving fast. They are doing some amazing things with the network. Uh, they definitely are not standing around doing nothing. Uh, and these types of upgrades could be coming your way. So here are some things that are happening. And this was shared to me with community member, supporter, subscriber, Zach. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for sharing this stuff with me. And uh, let me tell you guys what's happening and what he's seeing. All right, Fort Wayne, Indiana, which I believe is like PEA 80-something, is starting to get a legitimate C-band build in that market. N77, the channels are also starting to widen there. All right, so it, initially, the impression I was getting is that Zach was seeing a 60 megahertz N77 channel, uh, and now those are kind of being, I guess we'll call them upgraded, getting additional bandwidth to 100 megahertz. All right, so let me show you guys what's going on here. Big shout out to the bird up here in this corner. Big shout out to the bird. Uh, here is your N77 antenna radio. That's Ericsson gear, I could tell, because it's definitely not Samsung. And those are the two OEMs that Verizon uses. Okay, so th this is definitely an Ericsson market. And I also know this for a fact, because Ericsson gear is the only gear for Verizon that they use as a vendor that can support 100 megahertz bandwidth. Uh, the Samsung equipment still has not been approved for that. Uh, so this is your N77 gear. Here, interestingly, this is a CBRS radio, but this radio is not what like typically I see here in my market where they actually hang a radio and a separate antenna on the rack, right? So th what's happening here, I think, is this radio, and I've seen this before, they, they clip this here on the back and then it feeds into like one of these Comscope antennas. I think these are Comscope because in my market we have these two, and then we also have older Nokia panels and antennas. And uh, we've we've seen a complete like rip and replace all Nokia gear getting ripped out and getting swapped with Samsung gear. So I th obviously this is an Ericsson market, so these aren't going to be Nokia. All right, so these are probably the Comscope ones, the same ones I see in my market, and uh, they'll be receipt you know transmitting or broadcasting uh, band 48 here from this radio to these antennas. So they got CBRS on the site. They've got the C band on the site as well. So here's N77. And then here is your band 48. That can also be N48 as well. Depends on the radio gear, but this should be fine. Uh, this has 60 megahertz of unlicensed, the GAA form of band 48. My market, we see 30 megahertz of licensed. And then we see anywhere between like an additional 30 or 40 megahertz of the unlicensed. So the every market's a little different, but here's Verizon providing LT upgrades and 5G upgrades. I think he told me that previously the site was only a band 13, band 66. So upgrades in November gave them all this. Now they've got 5G DSS with the N5, I believe. Uh, they've got the 5G ultra wideband. They've got the band 48 CBRS as well. Uh, so, the, and, and probably the best part about this is you got all this new spectrum all this new radio gear, most importantly, the fiber upgrade. All right, so you got all this new spectrum. You got to give it some juice. It is now officially on a one gig backhaul circuit. Previously, it was on a 200 megabit microwave backhaul. So that is a huge improvement for the fine folks there in Fort Wayne getting this upgrade. Here is a connection log showing us the bandwidth here, N77, and you see 100 megahertz. And then you see the additional LT bandwidth there as well with band 66. Here is one of the speed tests that he shared with me. 496 down, 105 on the up. You see an idle ping of 17 milliseconds. That's really good. Even the loaded ping here is at 110 on the download and 109 on the uplink with no packet loss. That is a good quality connection. And then here is kind of just the you know log of speed testing from his Ookla app. We've got speeds up to 5600 on the downlink with uplinks, you know, approaching the 100 megabit per second mark here. Here's a 105 as well. All right, so lots of capacity now on this tower site, full LT modernization, 5G ultra wideband included with CBRS. You've got an upgrade the backhaul. Now I will tell you guys that because EverStream seems to be the provider here, Verizon has to pay them. If this was a Verizon one fiber site, if Verizon had their own fiber in this market, which they may, I, I don't really know, they would probably give it more backhaul. They would probably give it a higher capacity circuit, right? They'd probably go 10 gig. 
and then these speeds would probably double, right? And, and theoretically, the 60 megahertz could theoretically do over a gig. We don't typically see it. In fact, typically what I see on like a 10 gig circuit here in the CLE when it's like a Verizon one fiber site uh, on a 60 megahertz channel, the best I can see is like eight, 900 megabits down, you know, and you get to see the 100 megahertz uplink. So, you know, it, could we see more capacity here? Potentially they would have to upgrade the backhaul in this case, put it on a higher grade circuit and then they could have it. But something tells me because they have to pay for it and they don't own it, they're going to stick with one gig for a while. Now, once that capacity starts to dissipate and it's used, they're probably going to have to upgrade that backhaul. This is something that T-Mobile is starting to learn the hard way, right? Where they've put all their N41 upgrades and put them on, you know, one gig fiber circuits and the, the speed is starting to fade, it's getting used. That's what the customers do. They use the network. You know, as your customer usage increases and you're, you've been adding customers in markets and switching people from Verizon and AT&T, now they've got upgrade fiber. That's a problem that's going to come eventually for any carrier, right? And I think Verizon also has to understand this and likely will upgrade as needed, kind of like on an as-needed basis. But for now, this is what those folks have. We'll see what the future brings. I'm sure Zach will keep me in in touch with all these things going on. So big shout out to Zach. Thank you for sharing this. And then be on the lookout, folks. Verizon is doing big things across the country. This is not a top 46 PEA, not even close, right? And they're already starting to launch C-band and they're early clearing for 100 megahertz and all of those things and upgrading with CBRS. You know, a lot of people could say a lot of things about Verizon, but they definitely are not sitting packed. They are moving, they are upgrading, and they want they want people to know when it comes to networks, it's us, and then it's everybody else. You could tell by what they're doing here, and the execution is happening in front of our eyes. The pace of these upgrades is absolutely stunning, and it's very good to see. It's gonna put it's gonna push AT and T to upgrade faster, and it's gonna push T Mobile to try to keep that lead, you know, in their five G ultra capacity and things of that nature. We're very happy as customers to see this happen. What do you guys think of all this? Tell me what you're seeing in your market and how you've been watching Verizon doing upgrades or whichever carrier is doing the most in your area. Tell me all about it in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, and subscribe for more, and turn on that bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links are in the description for all things going on with the channel. Support us. Become a YouTube member. Just hit that join button. You guys can do it through the Android app, or you can do it on the desktop as well. And then my Patreon page is in the, the description. If you guys want to support us there, big shout out to the patrons and the members. Y'all the goats, man. Thank you for all that you do. And then my Twitter and my Gmail address for all business inquiries, all that's down in the description as well. Uh, words of goodness for you here as we head out this video. Every new day is an opportunity to be great. Go out there and be great. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.